All right, well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to a very special edition of the Connection Hangout. Tonight will be the Tech Connection. Uh, my name is Paul Tyra, and today uh, my co-host, David Asarno, is on vacation. Won't be, uh, David won't be able to be with us this evening, uh, but I have a very special guest, Platinum Executive, Tyler Brenchley will be joining me. We're going to get a great tour here of a brand new social media and communications platform. It's going to help accelerate the growth of your business. And we're going to also be joined by Ryan Kell of Turnkey Social. So welcome, welcome, Tyler. How are you doing? Having a good time. Super, super. Um, before we uh, kick things off here, just a little housekeeping. Again, um, the Connection Hangout is designed to connect you to real people, getting real results. Um, it is not a business presentation, nor is it a product uh, training regarding ASEA. If you'd like more information on ASEA, get back with the person who invited you to be on this Hangout as soon as we're finished up here. Some of you may also see a more info button beneath the screen that you could click on. And uh, after, as soon as we're done, I'll go ahead and click on that to be taking more information on ASEA or Renew28. Now, um, Tyler, so can you give us a little bit of overview and background on this amazing platform you've been working on with Ryan for, for quite a while now and what it's designed to do? And then we'll go ahead and jump into a tour. Perfect. Yeah. So um, about a year, I don't know, it's probably been at least a year. Ryan can probably correct me on that if it's, if it's been longer or shorter than that. But about a year ago, we... We really wanted to get involved with the social media platforms, but also really to take it to a mobile level, so that you know that's where the, that's where our future is headed. Uh, to have that mobile connectivity, everybody's got one at least one device um, where you just you just have access to to everything that's going on right here in the palm of your hand. So we we started creating a way that we could start to to share the the, the lifestyle, the industry, the, the opportunity with people. Um, so straight from their phones. So I, I partnered up with uh, Ryan and, and also my mom, uh, and we just started developing a, a, a basically a tool that's not only going to allow us to um, market ourselves, our business, and our opportunity on social media very, very simply, uh, where anybody can three clicks and you're done, um, and then set it up and, and have that run almost automatically, but also to have that social touch or the mobile touch, uh, palm of your hand, where you can you can do just pretty much run run your business and your and your uh, recruiting uh, part of your business and, and communication and everything right at the right at the palm of your hand, tips of your fingers. Fantastic, fantastic. All right, what I'm going to do now is uh, going to go ahead and, and share Ryan's screen here, so that everyone can we can all be looking at the same thing. And if you could kind of maybe intro Ryan and uh, and then go ahead and we can uh, dive right into it. It'd be great. Great. So, so Ryan, he's he's I think the founder of Turn Turnkey Social. I don't know how many founders there are, but he uh, he's the one that I've been working with mostly with uh, the creation of this tool. But he he uh, he's been great to work with. He, he understands uh, social media at a level most people uh, don't. He's created some other tools through social media for uh, companies outside and inside this industry. He's got a lot of experience. He understands. Uh, the mentality of, of the uh, associate or the distributor. So he's been really, really great to work with. He's had some great ideas that him and his team have brought to the table that I think uh, is going to be great. Just to give you a quick uh, what, what we're going what, what we're going to be looking at here. This is this is a tool that's going to have a basically a three part function. Uh, one of them is for mass communication, not not just mass communication throughout the entire group, but also micro communications inside your own communication groups, which He's going to go over because that's the main thing that this is going to be doing currently. Uh, it's also going to go into personal development and training. He'll show you some of the aspects of those. Um, and then another main thing that it's going to do is uh, for your recruiting and sharing and and uh, passing along information to those those people that you're you're piquing their interests and, and that you want to involve in your business. So. We're going to go over, I mean, th those are the three main aspects of, of actually uh, creating leads and uh, promoting your opportunity, also communications, and then also training and personal development. So those are, those are the three main things. We're mainly going to be heavy on the communication tool right now because that's how this is starting uh, when we launch this. Uh, it's going to be uh, mainly a communication tool to get everybody on the same page, but as we add media, and different uh, things to the app, functionality-wise, those are the three things that it's going to be. So I'll, I'll, I just wanted to give you that quick overview. 
uh, Ryan's going to go a little bit more into about himself and then also just kind of give you a quick overview of what to expect in this first version. And uh, Ryan, go, go, go on. Thanks, Tyler. I appreciate the introduction, and, and Paul, thanks for uh, for having me on this. Um, so I uh, I have been working with Tyler for a little while now, and uh, we've been trying to put together the, the best set of tools that we can to really help both from a social media management and a social media presence perspective, but also from a, a team communication and a team uh, connectivity perspective as well. So like Tyler said, um, the, the thing that we're talking about today is really the, um, the team communication piece with some of the recruiting elements as well. And, and I'll step through that. And it's going to be a mobile app that we're launching here in the next little bit. Um, and so it's, it has been good working with Tyler for, for at least the last year. And, uh, and we've been going back and forth on trying to put together the best system that works for you guys. So I'm excited to show you what we've got. And, and I, I trust that, that what we've been able to build is going to be really helpful in helping grow your business. So, um, so I guess with that, I'll, I'll just jump right into what it is that you guys are seeing on the screen. Um, so today what I thought we'd do is step into a demo of what this mobile app is, is designed to do and kind of a little bit about how to use it as well so that you don't just get this and know what it's capable of but you can actually understand how to interact with it. So um, so we're just going to, I'm just going to step through the app. I hope, Paul, you don't mind that it's, it's going to be kind of a casual conversation. I'm not sure exactly absolutely. the format. This is my first time on. But, uh, no, absolutely. Absolutely. No, we love to, we love to keep it... Uh, at a very informal level, so yeah, go, go for it. Be relaxed. Okay. Good. I was gonna say, forgive me for my foibles and stumbles on this. I, uh, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I trust me. You guys are. Uh, as I was mentioning earlier to them, I, it's a good thing that you're just seeing my screen and not me. But, uh, but beyond <laughs> that, we're, you know, I, I'm not much for screen presence or, or presentation. So hopefully, I, I can get through this as best as, as I to give you guys some visibility on the tool. So, um, so anyway, you know, of course, starting out, and, and this thing that, just so that you guys know, what we're looking at here is just an emulator on a computer so that I can show off the tool. Um, this is what your mobile app will look like. So these little, these little buttons on the side give me a little extra control for working with the mobile device, but, uh, but what you'll see is kind of this main screen right here. So, um, so you know, of course, uh, you know, starting out, if you've if this is your first time through, then we start out with a create screen, and you know, getting started, you can set up your uh, your account with a first name, last name, username, password. Now I've already got one set up, so I'm going to go back and log in. But um, but uh, but when you know, if this is your first time through, just go ahead and click that um, uh, that uh, that create button. And real, real quick, Ryan. So this is yeah. going to be available when, when this is ready and available. Mm -hmm. It'll be on the uh, the Android and uh, the the uh, the iTunes Store or okay. the Google, or rather rather the App Store on, on Apple. Uh, and the, and I hear that that's going to take a little bit longer, about a week week longer than the Android. Is that is that correct? Yeah, uh, you know, Apple's real picky about what they let through their App Store, and and they've got a you know a, a manual review process, and so. Yeah. Um, so we are, you know, we're working to to make sure that we can uh, we can get that through as quickly as possible. But the the Android uh, version is going to be available very shortly here. And so, do you have a, do you have a rollout schedule, or is it? Yeah, we're we are, you know, we're expecting sometime uh, mid next week is when it will be available, uh, pending any unforeseen challenges getting it through the App Store. I have every expectation that it'll be just fine, but uh, we're, it's submitted for review. And uh, as soon as that gets gets accepted, then we'll roll it right out. Okay, so someone's going to install this app, and as soon as they install it, they're going to go through that initial account creation process right there on their phone. That's exactly right. Yeah, this is just a mobile app for for smartphones, Android, and uh, and iOS devices, and uh, and so it'll bring you once you go through that account creation process, it, it'll bring you to a screen that's similar to this. Now, oftentimes the first time through, you're probably not going to see a lot of media that's here because the content that we're looking at is specifically designed for you as the user. And what I mean by that is we have created a tool that, that is designed for unique group communication pieces. And so each of the posts that we're looking at here are coming from different groups that people are associated with. 
and right here on your home screen it's kind of like a news feed in Facebook where it shows you all the little things that uh, that everyone's talking about over the last little while. So as we come into this, then um, um, as we come into this, the uh, the thing that we want to or that you'll see is what's happening inside each of these different groups that you're participating. In. Yeah. So you know, let's say that you come here and you see, oh, Susan said something that I want to I want to follow a little bit more about that conversation. We can just click, and it brings us. Um, to the feed of that group. So, you know, let's say that Susan belongs to our California group, and uh, and what she posted is about stuff that's happening in our California group. By clicking on that post, it brings us specifically to our California group, and we can read through and see what people are talking about there. Um, yep. So, uh, so that's our that's that's where you start off. But um, so let's say that you want to, and actually, let me let me I'll I'll kind of I'll, I'll step through this a little bit slower here. So, um, so in order to get to one of the specific groups, so let's say that you've opened up the app and you want to you want to see what's going on with your uh, your group out of Chicago. Let's just use that as our example. So I would click here and I'd say, okay, I want to go to all of my different groups that I'm a participant in. And here we can see there's the different groups. So we've got a lot, you know, a California group. There's an Australia, Eastern States, Texas. I was telling Tyler earlier when we named this group in, in our demo here, we felt like we had to put a big exclamation after Texas. I don't <laughs> think that you can say Texas without being excited. So, um, so anyway, uh, so here's my Chicago group, and let's say that I want to see specifically what's happening here. So I would click on my Chicago group, and now, um, you know, and this brings me specifically to my Chicago group, and I can see exactly what's going on in this point. So this is kind of designed for you to set up different conversation groups and participate on different things. So maybe you've got your local, you know, your, your, your local three people that you are, that's part of your brain trust. And you just want to have a great place that when you want to talk to your brain trust, you can come here and you know that they're going to get the message. But then maybe you've got uh, you know a larger group that you work with out of state or somewhere internationally even for that matter, and this app allows you to be able to set up those different communication groups and connect with those individuals that that really are part of those conversation pieces. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Great. Um, so uh, so that's our that's kind of the the first view of our uh, of our team communication. And like I say, the home screen that we're looking at here is each of those groups kind of pulled together so that you can see what's going on here in each of those different groups. I think the easiest way for people to understand it is if you were to sign up for Facebook today, yeah. you'd have nothing on your on your Facebook page. Yep. But if you add different likes and different things that you're following, mm -hmm. your Facebook page starts to fill up with information that uh, is pertinent to you. So as you add or join these different groups, you're now getting information pertinent to you that you, you are interested in. And that's, and this, that's exactly right. And it's and it's really more just uh, you know because that was one of the questions that I was was coming to mind. Like in contrast of using Facebook to do these things, I guess Facebook's kind of getting gets kind of noisy. So mm -hmm. so so this is really the reason for creating this separate environment is to mainly just have a place where it's all a SIA business related type communication. Would that be accurate? Yeah, I I think that's a large part of it. I also think that this gives us the ability to connect with people that maybe we're not friends with on Facebook, you know, extended groups and people that are outside of uh, the, you know, the day-to-day -day interactions that we're working with, we can, uh, you know, we can set up groups that are a thousand people large that, uh, that might be, you know, interacting with people from all over the country and, uh, and, you know, maybe we don't have direct connection with them, but maybe that some, someone that's in our downline is connected to them or, you know, those types of things. So, uh, so as an example, let's say that we might have this, uh, let's go to our groups here. We've got a, a medical professionals uh, group. So, you know, what I might establish a medical professionals group and invite two or three physicians that I work with to participate in that. And then they might invite two or three and others might invite two or three. So this gives us a place to have a conversation, kind of like a forum, but it's all pulled together in one place. So we know, you know, when I want to get in here and have a conversation about the business, I can do it right here with people from all these various different areas that I'm interested in interacting with. 
So versus a Facebook versus a Facebook group, what, what would be the fundamental difference? So really, um, what we're trying to do here is make it kind of a close community that's invitation that's uh, that gives us immediate access so that we can we can just set up rather than trying to you know manage 40 or 50 Facebook groups and have to have to deal with all that's that's there. This this just brings us to one place where not only do we have the group aspect of this, but there's other tools as well for business building, and we'll get into that. So this is kind of like it's all the benefits that you get out of those Facebook groups and all that, that's there, but we also bring in a couple resources to make it so that it's more than just the conversation. It's the conversation in addition to the tools that you want to use for building. Okay. Super. So, um, so let's say that you know you're new to this app and uh, and you want to create a group of your top three. Like I say, maybe establish your brain trust group. So in that situation, when we come to our from our home screen, I'll start back here so that everyone can get a good view of that. We would click on the menu. We'd select groups here, and then we've got this uh, this icon that allows us to manage our groups. From here, you know, any of the groups that we're an administrator of, we can add users, we can uh, invite other people to participate in the group, or down here with this yellow plus button, we can create a new group. So I'm going to create my new group here, and I'm going to, so we've already got uh, Tyler's group, we're going to call this Paul's group, okay? And, uh, and so I'm going to set this up, and um, and we, we might be hanging up a little bit right here. I'm going to uh, go back to load this up. Uh, so Paul's group here is, is now on the bottom screen. So I, I can click on Paul's group, and that is not at all what I wanted to see right now. That's always the problem with doing a live demo, is every <laughs> once in a while you get in, into a situation like that. Um, well, let me, let me load up this, uh, this California group. Oh. There we go. I'm, I'm in the wrong screen. So I want to be in my manage screen, and here we go into Paul's group. This will give us the identity. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so here we are, and it looks like we've got one one group, one user in this group, our test user, this David Anderson. And maybe I want to invite someone else to the group. So I would start typing the name of the person that I want to add to my group, and I would just once I see them show up. I invite them to the group, and from that point on, now Susan is participating in the group that uh, that we've just created. So that way, all these groups that we've created, we can start inviting people that we want to join in the conversation. Now, let's say that Susan is a good, trusted friend of ours, and we want her to be able to invite people to join the group as well. I can click on Susan's name, and then I just make her an administrator right here. And so once that's done, now I have the ability to, uh, to manage my users. Susan has the ability to manage users as well. So it's a really simple process for creating groups and also for adding people to participate in each of those discussion items. Okay. Um, so that's, our, uh, that's the groups feature that we've got here. And we've, you know, we've tried to make it as flexible as we can so that, that you create an unlimited number of, of these associations and, and have one place that that you can go to to connect with everyone that participates in each of those groups. And, and these groups um, require that the people do um, install the app and create an account. That's right. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. So in order to, 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 to have part in the conversation, that, that is right. Okay. So, um, so now, of course, once we've got our groups, we want to, you know, we actually want to start posting in it. So I'm going to go to our Texas group here, and it looks like no one said anything yet in our Texas group. So I'm going to click here to add a message, and now I have the ability to say something that uh, that might be, uh, you know, that might be uh, pertinent to my group. And so, uh, what's the um, don't mess with Texas? Isn't that uh, isn't that the thing that you have to say when you're talking about Texas? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the rule is uh, is don't mess with Texas. And so. Um, so you can see I can I can add a, a heading I can create my message and then we also have some tools here to to add some media to that so we can add an image here as part of our group um, so if we've got some pictures on our phone or we can take a picture directly uh, with the camera button or we can upload a video to it as well and uh, and we can create a, a post that doesn't just have text along with it but maybe you know we've got a question about a product or uh, we've got something that we're really wanting to show off and talk to about my group or something like that. 
we have the ability to connect media to each of the posts that we create here. Ah, so that's anything on the phone. Like if I have some, like a, a picture I just took on my phone, it'll yeah. access the gallery on the phone and you'll be able mm -hmm. to attach it. Cool. Great. Yeah. So, um, so you can add messages, add pictures, add videos, whatever it is that, that you want. So let's say you know, you're trying to get people out to an event uh, that's happening uh, two nights and you want to take a picture and show how many people are already there, get everyone who's about to show up for the, night, the next night really excited. Just turn around, snap a photo, and post it and say, hey, if you're not here, you need to be because this is really exciting. Or whatever, you know, whatever the, the, the communication there might be. So I'll go ahead and create our post. And, uh, and it might take a second because we're running on an emulator here. But, uh, but that's the process that we go through for, um, for creating our new messages. So any questions, anything else that we, we haven't covered on this? Now, when you when when you do a post, do they get notified, like the users, if they were in that group, or have, yeah, great, they... great question. So this is actually one of the other elements that makes this particularly nice is that um, with this application, we've built in push notifications, so you get notified when there's new content in the groups that you're participating. So you know how you'll get a, a little, you know, on an iPhone, you get the little red button that shows that you've got one or two messages that might be there inside the application. This does exactly the same thing, so we'll push out messaging saying, hey, you know, you've got a couple new messages that, uh, that are available for you inside of the, uh, inside of the, the team communication piece that we built here. Yeah. So, um, so you'll get those notifications as, as posts go out. Yeah. So, um, so that's, our, you know, that's our team communication piece, and that's, and that's great for communicating with the groups that you want to uh, have those conversations with. Um, but oftentimes, you know, one of the one of the things that we really want to have ready and available is training and education as we start building our business. So one of the things that we've built into this is a uh, is a message center. Now this message center, and we're on a demo account, so forgive the test feed and the the most fantastic message created and the second best message ever created uh, examples that we've got here. We're really creative when we try and come up with these with these <laughs> test examples that, that you're looking at here. Um, but in this instance, uh, so this allows uh, the, some of the top leaders and, uh, and other uh, professionals in the business to create content that helps with training. So this might be uh, videos about how to do effective three-way calls, or it might be a, a, an audio about uh, you know, a, a, a motivational discussion about, um, you know, about the lifestyle that comes along with uh, with the business or whatever it might be and each of those things can be here in the message center so we can come to the message center and and scroll through and see the different posts there might be a video here like I say there might just be a picture but these messages are, are are pushed out to everyone that has the app so that so that you can use this as a ready resource for learning how to to do the, the various aspects of of working inside of the business so um, so this message center is going to be a great resource for helping you understand the things that you should be doing to effectively build your business. Okay. Um, and so, uh, so this, and just like with the the items that are going to be available in the group feed, we're going to uh, we're going to be pushing content out, or we'll we'll send push notifications out. So as soon as there's a new message that's available here in the message center. You'll get a notice about it on your phone. You might it might say something like, "Hey, there's a new new training available from Paul. Click here to watch it, and uh, and it'll open up the app and and have that training ready for you." Yeah, that's right. Um, now the the other the third piece that I want to show here is our media library. Um, now this media library, once again, we're just in the demo account, so forgive the fact that the, you know we we're showing a lot of test data right here, but. Um, the, the media library is a resource for various different things that you might want to show as you're out and about. So let's say that you're uh, you know, on the subway and, uh, and you're sitting next to someone and you've struck up a conversation and there's a great video that talks about, um, I don't know, what's, uh, what's one of your favorite videos that talks about ASEA, Paul? Um, let's just say the, uh, the ASEA or the opportunity. Either one. Let's uh, you pick. Okay. I, actually, let's just say it was the opportunity video. Um, okay. Pete. Perfect. So, 
Um, so let's say that you know you're sitting there and you're you're wanting to talk to him about the opportunity and you're like you know there's this great video, if only I knew where to find it. That's what the media library does for you. Is it's going to be a ready resource for all of those useful tools in discussing the in discussing the business with, with the people that you're interacting. With. So you can open up the app, jump here into the media library, scroll through and find the exact thing that you're looking for, and, and you'll have it right at your fingertips. So. You don't have to search on YouTube and worry that you're going to find, you know, anything that's you find the wrong video or not be able to find it. It's all going to be right here available for you as you are out connecting with your those people. So, so if let's say I'm, I'm in front of a prospect just mm -hmm. out, of curio out of curiosity and I pull up that video, mm -hmm. uh, is there a way I can like maybe say, hey, let me let me text you a link to this video or something, get their phone number and and it, go over there? Is that is that how you would do, or you have to, or you would basically just be doing it to play on your own device? How 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 does it work? So we we do have uh, we do have some tools that are built in for some text message sharing. We'll show those off here in just a second. Um, okay. But this this one is kind of like a let me pull it up and show it to you right here. Okay. Uh, so um, so that's that's what we have. That's what the media library is. In the future, we plan on on rolling out some enhanced sharing features so mm -hmm. that we can do those things that you know. Okay. Let's say we're halfway through the video, and and we just want to say, hey, how about I shoot the rest of it over to you? What's your phone? Right. So we're working on uh, on enhancing some of those features in the future. But for right now, this is a great resource on your phone. But let's talk directly to what it is that you you asked about being able to text someone. So mm -hmm. um, we have this text message prospect uh, functionality that's built in that allows us to um, it pulls up a uh, our contacts directly from our phone and now we can select directly from those contacts and say okay here's uh, here's the mobile number and we have different kinds of messages that are pre-built with links that are associated to it. So what happens now is let's say that uh, I am sitting down next to someone and, and I say hey let me grab your phone number and I'll shoot this off to you. Mm -hmm. So you create the contact in your phone you then uh, from our prospect manager we send off this pre-created text message that discusses a little bit about, you know, hey, I've been thinking about connecting with you for a little while. Um, here's a link to a short video. Let me know if you're interested, or whatever those might be. And we'll be working on our end to continually improve the text that's there. We'll be watching the analytics to see which ones get the most opens. We'll be we'll be really optimizing the value that's associated here to say, okay, we know that when we send this text it's more likely to open the link versus this text message. And we're going to be working to make sure that this messaging is really, really built. As as we get more usage, we'll see the data coming through and adjust it and, and keep going until we've got exactly the right messaging. For that. Okay. So um, I, I, I guess, you know, there's so many different scenarios, and depending upon who you have a conversation with um, and what you're mm -hmm. talking about with them, uh, is there any way to make that editable? It is, yeah. So. Um, this actually just opens up directly inside of our messaging. So oh, cool. from this point on, if we want to come in and we say, okay, yeah, um, I I can just come in here and directly edit the message. So I might want to personalize it a little bit more and just leave the link. Um, mm -hmm. One right. of the options that we're going to have available here is, uh, is just a custom message. And so it'll just have a URL, and then it's up to you to put the rest of the content. Very cool. So, um, so that way we get that personal. Now, one of the really nice things about this is that this URL is unique to this share that we're about to do. And so when we actually share this, it's not just them going to the link. What happens is when that link gets opened, we send a push notification back to the device, and it says, hey, uh, Paul opened that link that you sent, and here's the phone number that you sent it to. Cool. Very so we cool. have the ability to track back and know exactly when it is that they're opening and send the messaging back to the user to say, hey, they're opening it right now. Now might be a good time to reach out and connect. Super. So, um, so that's our uh, that's our text message prospecting. Now, um, like I say, you know, this is just version one of this application. Over the next little while, we're going to be enhancing this. We're going to be continually releasing updates and working to make this the best tool that we can from both a communication standpoint, a training and education standpoint, and a prospecting standpoint. And uh, and over the next little while, we're going to uh, we're gonna so you'll see continuous updates and you'll get notifications on your device that 
there's new updates available. So keep in touch, or you know, so keep updating. And as that happens, we'll uh, we'll give you greater access to better tools as we keep building this out. Fantastic. Now, my understanding is is you guys uh, potentially will be integrating and interfacing with our ABC platform. Is that is that is that is that, is that a potential? So we are hoping that that's the case. We are, you know, we're trying to make that happen right now, and uh, we've been in discussions for a little while, um, and uh, and so as we make that more and more available, then there, as soon as that happens, then then we're going to have some really really cool features that are built into this um, for you know uh, automatically connecting you to people that are inside of your upline and downline groups and things like that. So we can. You know, when you first come in, instead of a blank screen that has to be filled out by joining groups, rather, uh, you'll be connected immediately with the people that we think you need to be having the best conversations with, and uh, things like that. So as we build those out, and as we get those integration points, then I think that we'll be able to to get there. Yeah, that, that that'd be great because I'm I'm all for for one about centralization, and I know that you know whether you're logging in in, in the ABC or you're, you're texting folks, is if the information's consistent. And yep. someone need you know someone knows in, in their daily action list they're looking at that in ABC here's who they need to follow up with and they can see oh yeah I sent that person a text message uh -huh. and here's and they watch that video no matter what channel I think it's uh it's it, it's awesome but this is this is yeah. wonderful this is one this is something that we've you know have to discuss with Tyler as well is is uh, is is very much needed especially the younger demographic to be able to reach out and and to touch them now because everyone's mostly sitting on their phone and yeah. this is Come become an extension of their, you know, of their being, if you will. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's what we're that's what we're trying for. Super awesome. And and I just want to add to the band of this. Um, this is such a small aspect of the total package that we're looking at with this. Uh, we we we'll go into much more in depth training over time as we keep rolling things out. The social media suite on this is amazing. Just the ability to go through a few clicks, set up your own page, set up auto. Uh, status updates. I mean, there's so many things on on social media that makes it so that people can actually make social media work for building their business. There's a thing called the sweepstakes where we're going to be able to drive a ton of, of traffic and leads and different benefits. There's so many things that I'm, I'm excited about it, and this is only one small, small piece of it. And, and we'll continue to to update you as we as we roll out more and more parts. The media library where we'll be able to share directly from it with the text message like Paul brought up. That was obviously one of the first things we want to want to add. But we have so many so many things. But we want to just get it in the hands, get the people using it, make sure that we're communicating. And then I mean, really, the mobile application is really where we're going to see a huge uh, growth in in our industry and 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 Asia specifically. So yeah, most most definitely. Um, the you, you mentioned just just a second ago again to give you know for the futuring here of, of about using it to interface and market through Facebook and other types of social media platforms. Can you just spend maybe just a minute or two maybe what the vision of that and what what that would look like you know later down the road? Ryan, did you want to take that as far as the ability to to follow be followed and follow Pinterest and Twitter and Facebook and how you guys uh, anticipate that being used? Yeah, yeah, I'd be happy to to talk to that. So, um, so like Tyler said, this is just a, a mobile app that, that we've built that we're uh, that we're launching for communications piece and connectivity. But really, one of the things that uh, that we have been working on for a long time now is a uh, is a social media management suite that is designed specifically for the direct selling industry. Um, and uh, and we're going to be rolling that out shortly after we we get the app up and going. Um, and some of the key aspects of that are uh, are content management and uh, drip campaign management. So one of the things that we've done is we've uh, we are building out a large resource library of uh, great approved and and useful uh, social media posts for Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, Pinterest. That in three to five minutes. Uh, you can schedule two to three weeks of content, and so you know every couple weeks you just jump back into the application. A few clicks later, it it manages everything from uh, dripping content onto your your personal page or business pages that you own. Uh, it handles everything from 
when those links are clicked, bringing it back to an interface where we can capture lead information. Uh, one of the things that Tyler spoke to is some tools that we've built that are designed for reaching outside of your existing uh, network of you know just the people that you're connected to, but with some of our, our sweepstakes tools for lead generation outside your warm network. And, uh, and that's just the beginning. There are several other pieces to our application that uh, that we have designed that help not only for you know be helping you be efficient and successful in uh, in messaging and branding yourself on social media, but also in driving business and driving traffic to those places where you can actually interact with people for both uh, you know sales and lead generation. And, uh, and so we're really excited to roll those things out. And, and like Tyler said, I expect that when we're ready to do that, we can come back and do some more training specifically to that because we've got some great tools. Um, there's some mobile integration that's involved with that as well. So it's not just a desktop app, but there's a great mobile application that, that allows easy management for these types of things. So really, it's, uh, you know, we've been working on it for a long time, and we feel we, you know, this is one of the best tools that, that we've seen, and I'm horribly biased when I say that, but, uh, but one of the best tools that we've seen that actually address the needs of the distributor instead of focusing just on, you know, building the company brand. Really, this is designed to make you as a distributor the focus of, of the, you know, of the sales effort so that you can take your network and use it effectively for building your business. Super, super. So, I, so, and and everyone out there again, this is this is a missing piece. And so, and, and I, I really like this kind of approach because this this first step here is just get connected, and that way you're connected, you're starting to communicate with everyone, starting to share these these great resources. And as you learn that, again down the down the road here, you're going to have the ability to acquire and generate new leads, new, for lack of better terms, fresh meat, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and basically, because uh, right now, you know, again, our, our internal ABC platform is designed to pick the ball up from that point, right? But you got to have people, you know, after your own warm market and all that, you want to have, again, this constant flow of, of inbound prospects. So that's going to address that, you know, in the, in the near future down the road here. But let's get all get connected. And as we're, as we're using, um, you know, ABC, it will be able to communicate, get everyone educated up to speed even quicker, get more training videos out there. Uh, and then you know, as we evolve this, you're, you're right here from the very beginning. So I think it's, I think it's, you know, it's a really, really exciting time. All right. Um, do we have any? Uh, is, is there anything else uh, you, you think uh, the folks need, need to know? I mean, besides again the rollout date, we're looking at Android here within the next few days, and then the Apple platform within the next ten days or so. Yeah, that's exactly right. One of the things that we're, you know, one of the elements of the app, of course, is that the te text messaging prospect inside of that will be a share the app uh, function. So we're going to have a, uh, so once you download it, then uh, just jump over and send a text message to your contact saying, hey, this app is awesome. Here's a link to go get it. And, uh, and so we've got that text message built directly into the app. So once you get it, make sure that you send it out to everyone that you're connected to so that you can bring the conversation to a place that makes it centralized and ready and easy to work with. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, Tyler, any, any closing uh, comments here? Uh, no, I mean, I'm just really excited to get it kind of up and going. We've been working on it for a long time. Um, we are going to have uh, a short window of kind of uh, free use, uh, I believe, for this first version uh, until we run the first update. Uh, you'll you'll get on there and there, there won't be any charge or anything. You'll get to kind of mess around with it, um, and then uh, obviously there's going to be at some point a charge, but it's going to be very nominal, very minimal, um, and uh, we'll we'll probably release that information uh, shortly when we when we have. I don't know if we'll announce it on another hangout or or where where we'll announce it. I'd say we would use the app to send it out to everybody, but nobody's going to have the app yet. So uh, we'll we'll get the information out there, but just look for it um, and. We'll make sure that we have it posted as far as when to look for it and what what to look for. But do you, do we have a name that uh, they can search for on the uh, on the app store to find it? So right now the are we the name of the app? App? what the right now the name of the app is is Team Connector, and so we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll send out a 
a, a URL probably that helps us get directly to that. So, um, and from your mobile device, you can go directly to that URL, and then you can pick Android or iOS, and it'll take you directly to the App Store. Perfect. Super. Um, okay. Uh, fantastic. So, so yeah, the Team Connector will would be um, under the Turnkey Social um, uh, yeah. uh, brand that's made. Okay, because I know there's there looks like there's 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 another one out there. Okay. So we'll look for the link. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. I want to thank uh, special guests, uh, Platinum Executive Tyler Branchley and Ryan Kell from Turnkey Social. All right, everyone. Uh, thanks for tuning in tonight. Next week, we're going to try to shoot a another Connection Hangout before Wednesday because we're going to be deeply involved here in the 2015 Envision Conference. So be sure to keep an eye out on your emails for updates on that. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Go on and have a fantastic rest of your evening. Rest of the weekend, I'll see you later. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.